Hold the line. Don't fall to the Chaos Forces. Phoenix has fallen. Our defenses aren't enough. I must call on help from the gods. Neith, the Egyptian weaver of fate. You have arrived just in time. Hurry, defend the Phoenix until it respawns. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to move, and use the mouse to turn. Here comes a wave of enemy minions. Destroy them. Use the mouse to aim, and press the left mouse button to fire Neath's bow. Each time you slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain experience or XP. Gain enough XP and you will level up. Allowing you to unlock abilities. Press F1 to unlock Spirit Arrow. By default, your abilities will be trained automatically for you after this tutorial. Watch out! More enemies are approaching. You must use your powerful ability. Spirit Arrow is a line attack that can strike multiple enemies within its highlighted area. Press 1 to bring up the targeter. With the targeter visible, press the left mouse button to fire. The Phoenix has respawned. Excellent work. Head back to the fountain and let's prepare to advance. You've taken a lot of damage and need to replenish your health. You can do this by pressing the B key and quickly return to your fountain. Within the fountain, gods will rapidly gain health and restore their mana. Gold can be used to purchase items from your team's item store, but only while you are in your base fountain. Open the item store now by pressing I. This view is your recommended tab and shows items most likely to help you in your role. One of these items is Light Blade, which increases your damage and the speed of your basic attacks. Click on the item icon, then click the purchase button to buy it. At level one, you can choose your first relic, Relics can be used like abilities, but don't require mana. There are a wide variety of relics available, but for now we will be obtaining Meditation as our first relic. Click the Relic icon, select Meditation, and finally, let's buy a consumable item. Unlike relics, consumable items can only be used once. Select the Healing Potion, then click the Purchase button to buy it. Very good. These items will help you in your battles. Remember, there are other views in the shop. Click on the All Items tab. You can use this view to search for other relics or consumables. Our tower is under siege. Go now! Your tower is under attack from enemy minions. Go there now and defeat them. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle Impressive. Tower is under attack. The relic you chose earlier, meditation, can be used to replenish health and mana for yourself and for your allies. Use that relic now. Now it's time for payback. Push to the enemy tower! Remember to stay behind your minions so that they take the brunt of the tower's attack. If the tower targets you, fall back out of range. Here. 
Look out! The enemy god Ymir has joined the fight. Defeat him and move on to the enemy phoenix. Enemy gods are a greater threat and are usually controlled by enemy players. You should defeat this god before moving on. First blood. Ahead is the enemy phoenix, which can only be damaged by your basic attack. Once destroyed, all of your minions in this lane will spawn with upgraded weapons and deal more damage. Unlike towers, a phoenix will eventually respawn. Destroy the enemy phoenix, but remember to let your minions lead the attack. Not enough! I will handle this myself! <laughs> with Neath on my side, you have no chance. <sighs> we shall see. Storm into the enemy base and destroy their titan to win. Congratulations, you have won your first game.